All right, I am on the house at Chimanchi. This is the front. You can go in through the garage next to where my car is at there. The winding road sweeps down to the main road, Russellville. Um, that is paved all the way on this property. Let's go through here. All right, when you come in, we have the entry with a tiled floor. And I'm going to expand. Here's the view. And then here I am expanded. Okay. You have a tiled floor, two by, or it looks like almost like two by ones. Um, more like 18 inches by one inch, uh, one foot. So a uh, tiled floor that goes through to the kitchen. You have a rustic, is the way I'm going to call it, plaster coverage uh, of, the, of some of the walls to include the living room, ceiling, this little side wall here. It is a straight drywall there and at the entry. So when you come in, you've got a little space underneath there. This is laminate uh, engineered wood snapped together flooring, but it feels nice. Off to a bedroom, downstairs and the living room, dining room space. It's really got a cool loft area up here. Okay, so I've come inside. There's the front again. We're gonna go here to a half bath with the same tile work, a corner toilet, uh, excuse me, sink, and the cabinetry. Some storage under the stairs there. View of the front and the chicken coop. And just medicine cabinet over that. And the original wood uh, on the sink. So that could be changed out if you don't like it. The next door is a pantry. And then we're back in, we're into the kitchen. Kitchen cabinets look like they've been updated since it was built in 1977. We've got the gas range, microwave. The gas range has a double oven. This island appears to be, it appears to be attached. We would just want to make sure. And then you've got the sink, laminate countertops. It's not, um, uh, you'd have to put in some stone or or granite, but it's got some nice spacing there. And again, a view out to the front to the chicken coop. And they have beehives out there too behind those trees. Okay. This is a little eat-in space for the kitchen. They've set it up as a little of uh, a little sitting area. And then out the side yard here. with views off to the side. The deck could probably be replaced here soon and put some uh, composite decking in. And then they have a nice little seating area down there. I'll come back to that. The exterior is vinyl. And let's go back in and we will come back. Oh, and the AC is looking a little older, but uh, we're not gonna probably be able to test it unless the temperatures rise a little bit more. And then there's your well pump there. Electrics, electricity is on that box there. Okay. Oopsie, hold on just a second. I'm trying to get this shut with the curtain. There we go. All right, we're back in the kitchen. They've got some nice beams uh, overhead. It's really got a Colorado feel, it's like a, what I like to call it. I'm not sure if you're gonna be a fan of that though. That's pretty extreme on the texture. We've got the dining room space with the beaded chandelier, beautiful uh, wood trim. Looks pretty German actually to me. And then, or Mexican. And then uh, out to the back and it looks like they have a little corral space as well. 
the fireplace. And that is a wood burning fire. Oh, it has a gas though. Gas, let me see. Oh, it is a gas. Those are just the fake embers down there. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Let's go down the hallway from the entry. We've got the first bedroom. It's a good sized bedroom. Some TV. Faces the front. Closet space is a standard, uh, I'd say, six foot closet. And the room is probably an 11 by 12 or maybe even a 10. 10 by 11. I would say 10 by 11, 11 by 12, the most. Coming to a tiled floor here with a double vanity, a tub. It's a shallow tub, not a deep tub, and a shower stall. The shower stall is a good sized shower stall. And these overlook the back, that little corral space they're using as a little garden space, it looks like, and the stamped concrete patio with a, with a gaze, uh, gazebo or pergola, excuse me. Behind the door here, we have some additional cabinetry for storage. Continuing down the hall, I'm going to go off to this direction. Another bedroom on this level. They have a bunk bed in this room. It's a good size room. With the same size closet as the other room. And an attic access. Little staining on the carpet over here. But you might want to pull this out and put in hardwood and then it, again it's out to the front well, let's go to the master the master bedroom is not huge but it could accommodate a king-size bed with two good nightstands they have a sitting chair and a dresser on this other side and overlook again the back with a little bit of mountain views through the trees. Go off to this room here. Those look built in. Those look like they were, I'm not sure if they are or not. I have to ask about that. And then, then here's the closet. Let me get the light here. It's a step in, not a walk in. And it's probably seven feet six feet six to seven feet side to side not a huge closet again we have the textured ceilings just like the walls but then this wall uh walls in the living room but then these walls are just regular orange peel knock down plaster or knock down drywall okay let's go um upstairs first and then downstairs i've wrapped the wood stairs with the same carpet as the bedroom space. And up here they just have a little loft that they're using as a library and, a, and an office. It overlooks the front. The living room, excuse me. And then that back lighting. A little sitting area over here. They're using this back side as storage. It's open and it's pretty nice. They do have a computer here. I have no idea what the computer speed is. Okay. And I think we've seen this one goes back over to the, ch to the front and there's the loft. Handrails at that beginning were a little loose, but everything else is fine. Little steep on the steps there. Okay, let's go downstairs. Nice wide 
steps coming down this way. Here at the bottom, we have a huge family room with it looks like a wood burning uh, stove. They've been kindling their dogs up, looks like down here. They've got a nice little movie theater set up. The ceilings are about a little over eight. And let me get you over to this side. And it's got that crazy plaster. Okay. And that is also a gas fireplace. We'll go off to this direction. They have a lot of mirrors here. We'll go off to this direction for the company bath at this level. There's nothing behind there. And then the laundry room. They are leaving the washer and dryer, they said, but they're gonna be taking this uh, freezer. Here is your heating system. It's an Amana. And it has a April air, a humidifier. We also have a Rheem water heater. There we go. And some built-in storage there. The electrical panel. Let me see. Is a General Electric, it looks like. says inspected. I cannot read it from this distance. There we go. Okay, and over here we have another little closet space. This has the whelp. Huh? It looks like that. Yeah, it is attached. And a filtration system right there. On off. A control box. I was looking for maybe a Cat5 box for computers, and I'm not seeing it here. Behind the door. No, I don't see it here. Okay, let's go out to the garage. Here in the garage, we have a two-car garage with an extension that he's put in a little workstation over here. It again has the plastered ceiling and it looks, I mean, it's just a garage. I'm not really seeing anything major, two windows, a little hole there that could be patched later. Door to the side for the kitty cat too, or a dog. Sprinkler system, I'm not sure if it's operating now, but there's a sprinkler control there. Okay. And let me go outside. Then we'll be done. So now the front had the chickens and just that flat little area in the beehives before the road wrapped around it. Here's the stamped concrete path. It goes over to a little fire pit area. It has a nice little space, a work shed. This goes up to the top deck, the covered pergola area, and then, oh, pretty views out there. Let's see how the land slopes away from here. But I can tell they had something here at one time, an animal, but then they turned it into a, an area where they can start um, uh, their spring growth. A lot of scrub oak, a lot of space, little rock formation out there. Looks very nice. Lots of trees. And then I saw, noticed this control valve here, so high line control valve placed properly. Let me see what it says. Oh, I can't get it up, sorry. So I'm not sure what that is for. Okay, let's look at this side. 
Here's the retention wall they've put in. Some old lumber, but it still looks like it's pretty decent. Might need a board replacement there. The exterior looks good. I see lines run on the outside. That could be cable. I'll go check that box up top before I leave. And then here's a storage under the deck. And that's just pretty much what it is. Storage under the deck with some uh, pavers as the base. I'll check over here with the fire pit. And it goes to the front. There's the drive that wipe goes uh, uh, curves around where the chickens and the uh, um, beehives are, and another gate to get through. So that, let me come back over here, walk this way. This is it. It's very nice looking. And I will finish up with a snapshot of where I think the cable line's coming from. See if I can get a, com uh, a uh, contact name. But nice, nice house. One last little sweeping circle. All right, talk to you later.